Bigfoot monster truck, Kings of Crunch. We've got the Bigfoot number one original monster truck, 1974 Ford F-250 with the gooseneck trailer. We're going to be doing a full review, unboxing, opening, checking out this awesome new package from Greenlight. Check it out, guys and girls. This is the awesome Bigfoot number one with the travel mode tires on it. We're going to get all this out of the package. Of course, you can see a whole lot better. Comes with the wheels, which slide right over top of those original little travel wheels. Ramps, gooseneck trailer attachment for your pickup trucks to pull this huge gooseneck trailer. So much detail, such a bargain. And on the back, you've got the original monster truck specifications. You can pause on that if you want. And some nice imagery, some sponsors. And of course, some details on that height adjustable gooseneck functional uh, truck stand for that. For this purpose, we're going to be using the Greenlight 2019 Ford F350 Lariat. Uh, I think that is going to be more than suitable to be pulling this massive array of 11,000 pounds of monster trucks. Also, we've got the other blue uh, Bigfoot blue trucks out for review. And uh, just to compare with what we've got in the package, we've got the old dirty version here, we've got the smaller wheel version, the big huge wheeled version which kind of rolled off the table, different, different body style, this is Bigfoot number 5. But anyway, it's got all these trucks out for the Bigfoot celebration of uh, these awesome packages which we're going to get out of the package soon. Also got the high roller, just a couple bonuses here. This is a Greenlight Hobby exclusive High Roller 2 in the dirty version. Pretty slick. 1979 Ford F-350 monster truck. Whole bunch of great images of that actual monster truck. And we've got as well the uh, Acme Trading Company Goodyear exclusive. This is another Hobby exclusive of the 70s Chevrolet K-10. With those Goodyear tampos, we're going to get that truck out of the package. Uh, anyways, and they're all going to go for a roll over these junked out old Lesney cars. So, stick around and let's check out this awesome new green light Bigfoot monster truck collection. Time to open up this package at last. Boy, have I been looking forward to this. So let's get it opened up for you right here on camera. Let me get this scissored up. I like to just cut around the perimeter on three sides and slide it all out just like that. There's a lot of stuff in this package so you got to be careful you don't lose anything. Got that nice uh, card artwork in the back and out it comes just like that. Alright so the packaging we can discard that for now. Let's check this out. I'm going to move my Bigfoot scenery in the background. Oh, we've already lost something. There we go. We've got the fifth wheel attachment. I'm going to show you how that goes into your truck, your pickup truck of choice for the gooseneck attachment. And, of course, we've got everything in here. It's all fairly secure. Let's get that monster truck out first and foremost. Put that down for a second. Check it out. Isn't that cool? Let's zoom in and check out the details on this truck. Really nice painted suspension and shock absorbers. The 4x4x4 four by four by four, uh, livery on the front axles and back axles. There's the travel mode. Check that out. Some nice details in the back. Not sure if we've seen that before. I guess we have, yeah. So, this monster truck, this edition that you're finding in this particular package from Greenlight is the same truck or at least the same body that has been released in previous versions in the Kings of Crunch same body just different chassis obviously quite a different chassis uh, here's the small wheel version what we just looked at there was a larger wheel version here's the dusty wheel version theoretically the same suspension but you know obviously this one's dusty this one's clean uh, lots of different variations. Love the variations and uh, just love this truck. So can't wait to see how these uh, 
these wheels fit into it all. Let's put the truck down for a second. Let's grab a couple wheels. Oh, look at it. We've got axles. We've got some axles and a little Ziploc uh, dime bag here. So that must mean that... Oh, all the wheels came out at once. That means that we got to put these uh, axles together with these wheels. You can see they've got uh, a hole in the back. So what we're going to end up with is basically this truck here, which was released in the Kings of Crunch. Uh, so you can assemble your own axles. That basically is the truck you're going to see here once we uh, remove these wheels, which is done just by literally just pulling on. Uh, I think that's all that happens. You kind of pull on it until it comes apart. There we go. So you got the wheel off, you take that axle out with the wheel, and then you're going to put on your new wheel and axle here, which uh, I don't really want to do because I've already got this truck, so I'm going to just put that back together. I thought these might be slide over wheels, but uh, they're a bit more sophisticated than that. So we're going to put that back on. They're almost threaded. I'm not sure if they're threaded or push on. Probably a combination of both. There we go. Oh, I just about broke off my... Uh... There we go. That's good enough. Anyways, I want this truck to fit on the trailer because, like I said, I've already got it with the monster wheels on it in various sizes. So we're not too worried about that. We've got it in all three sizes now. Put all this. This is all going to go on the trailer here. Except for the axles. We don't really need to worry about that. Um, we'll look at the trailer before I get into that gooseneck option. So there is the trailer. It's a big, heavy metal trailer, I might add. And check out the details. You got the big foot uh, tampo. It's got a spare actual wheel on the top. It's got the, the fold down uh, braces, the, the jacks or whatever, to hold the vehicle, the trailer flat. And you can move them upright for travel. All metal, du true dually wheels, both axles, mud flaps, lots of details all the way around. Check out the woodwork on this thing, just amazing, really. Quite a substantial piece, and uh, obviously it's going to fit that truck just no problem whatsoever. You're going to be able to put that on, you can carry a few wheels. However, you know, these were secured, whether the wheels be in the front, like that. I don't know. Anyways, you can simulate whatever you want here because you've got lots of options. So we're going to look at the uh, the gooseneck here in a second. Just going to pan out, get those little ramps out. So we're hitting in some tape. Get those out of the way. Now these ramps are plastic and they clip on to the back of your trailer just like so there you go so now just gives you that little added dimension for the truck to roll up onto the ramp and then you can fold those up kinda of holds your truck in place in case of any slips but Let's look at how this thing's going to work out with the uh, gooseneck option. So, we're going to use, like I said, this 2019 Ford F350. Now, theoretically, you could glue this little gooseneck attachment into your truck of choice. Or you can just place it in there somewhat. Let's just do that for now. And uh, we'll unload the trailer. You come up here. Now that's going to go in there, and in it goes, just like that. So, gooseneck option, just like that. Oh, maybe it's not far enough back, it can't actually turn. There we go. So it's moving around a bit because I haven't secured it. This truck does come with the, uh, the hitch and tow hitch as well. But uh, obviously you could secure this if you were going to actually play with it or set up a, a display 
I'm not too worried about that. We're just gonna drop the ramp here and drive that truck up. Oh, stop, parking brake. There you go, lost a ramp. And uh, there you have it. So that looks really nice. Like I said, Greenlight's coming out with a, uh, a Bigfoot Tampo version of this truck, which will match the trailer and you can use that. Uh, if you were to put the bigger trucks on here, I mean, yeah, you can still you can still transport this truck as well. It might overhang a little bit with these wheels on it. But, you know, things get a little bit more difficult as the wheels get bigger. And that's obviously a wide load, hence why the wheels can come off. This truck's just not going to be doable. You're going to get stuck under a bridge somewhere, so we'll put that one back down. Anyways, that's a great little set, guys. Uh, the Bigfoot set, it is a green light hobby, hobby, hobby exclusive. So uh, wherever you find it, I found mine on eBay. They were reasonably priced, but they're selling quickly. And uh, you're going to want to pick that up if you like the Bigfoot trucks. Or if you're collecting Kings of Crunch or trailers, hitch and tow, whatever the case may be. So let's get into some more of these extra added bonus features of this video and that is going to be a review of this truck here high roller check that truck out in the real deal and a very nice dusty version I'm undecided whether I can open this truck up or not I would really like to so I think that probably is going to happen but we're also going to definitely be opening up this Goodyear truck for a review the Acme uh, exclusive K10 and let's see what that thing looks like this is an exclusive as I had said so this is not part of any Kings of Crunch series I was able to find this one on eBay and it is a really nice 70 Chevy K10 with a tonneau cover it's a dark blue, the dark blue tonneau cover. Some serious looking bumpers on it. Check out the exhaust coming out of the engine. Goodyear tires. Obviously with that Goodyear tampo, we've seen a lot of Firestone tires, but this truck gets the Goodyear tires. There you go. All right, next truck out. This is the high roller. I was debating whether I was going to open this truck or not. I love the packaging so much. And this was an expensive truck. For some reason, I think it must be a low production truck. But I really want to get this thing out of the package. I think it's going to look awesome next to the uh, Bigfoot Dusty version truck. So that's what we're really doing here. We're opening this thing up on the camera there we go I always keep the card backs in case any of you are wondering this is the part that I keep I like to keep the uh, history of the truck I put that in my little file folder and there you have it there's the truck out and about 79 look how dusty this thing is wow check it out dusted right out absolutely awesome it's got the smaller wheels on it this is comparable to the uh, Bigfoot truck with the smaller wheels check out those little KC headlights too they've all got smiley faces uh, let's see if we can focus on that check out that detail I mean that is incredible guys uh, really appreciate these trucks even at uh, the the price points that they're at like this is unbelievable really nice Nice dusty suspension, number uh, 1,830 off the production. So not that low production, but still. Side by side on the uh, dusty Bigfoot truck. Really liking these dusty trucks. They got to do more of these. Really love them. Love the color of the wheels. And uh, I especially like the, the size of the wheels on this one. It's not much of a roller when it comes to going over the uh, the cars, but... Still gets the job done. 
Probably more of a mud truck than anything. Crunch. All right, we're going low tech on this one. We're using uh, all five fingers to get this thing up and over. <laughs> awesome. Anyways, that's my uh, that's my review of these awesome trucks, mainly the Bigfoot. And like I said, you're gonna really want to get that uh, that set there for the gooseneck trailer and truck option. You can see how good that looks behind this. Big old Ford F-350, and uh, you're going to want that as far as your monster truck collection. Happy hunting.